Mike, why are you drinking from those plastic cups? I told you those cups are not good for the environment. Mom, why are you so upset? Listen to me. Your father is a politician who, honestly wants to do something about climate change. I guess, Dad is coming up for re-election, that is why he is bringing up this issue. That is not true. Wait a minute. I just heard the doorbell. It might be Dad. Let us, go into the living room, you can talk to your father. Good afternoon my darling. What are you guys talking about? We are having a discussion about climate change. That is an interesting topic. Dad, is it true you are planning to ban all plastic water bottles and plastic bags? Yes. You have to do a lot more than that to lower the Earth's temperature. That is only the beginning. I plan to enforce laws that would stop the use of many products that pollute our environment. Dad, climate change is a very complex issue. Why do you say that? Because it involves taking a series of drastic steps that could affect the lives of millions of people. What I am going to do might be painful now, but it is a sacrifice we have to make to protect future generations. Mike, why don't you listen to your father? He made an election promise to do something about global warming. Mom, do you know what is fossil fuel? No, I do not. Mom, fossil fuel is a fuel that is formed in the earth from the remains of plants and animals over millions of years. Derivatives from fossil fuel are coal, oil, and natural gas. Fossil fuels power those plants so as to generate electricity. Explain that to your dad. Dad, do you know that hundreds of petroleum products like motor oil, toothbrushes, eyeglasses, footballs, ballpoint pens, toilet seats, car tires, candles, telephones, crayons, cosmetics, skin cream, dentures, and fishing rods are derived from crude oil that is refined. Think how people are going to react if you ban or restrict the sale of many of these products. I am not going to ban all of them at once. I am going to do it in stages. Dad, if you are concerned about carbon dioxide emissions, why don't you do something about those companies that produce cement and steel? Right now I don't want to do anything that would force big companies to shut down, because they employ thousands of people. I don't understand why there is so much controversy over climate change and global warming. The reason is, some people believe, that the rising levels of greenhouse gases is caused by human activities, like burning oil, and coal, while others say throughout history, the Earth's temperature has warmed up, and later cooled down. Some have even said, that millions of years ago, plants once grew in parts of the Antarctica, because of warmer temperature back then. Dad. To some people, global warming refers to the Earth's rising temperature, while climate change refers to the effects of increasing temperature, like heat waves, severe weather, and the melting of glaciers. Mike, you are making me angry. You are not a scientist. Do you know that most scientists agree that climate change is caused mainly by human activities? Mike, don't you see the kind of weather we are having in the USA today? It is worse than anything in the past. Dad, you do not know how nature might repair itself. Some people have pointed out that between 1900 to 1950 when there were less people, less cars, and buildings, there were deadly hurricanes, huge fires, violent storms, cold temperatures, flooding, and heat waves in many parts of the United States. Do you believe that the high levels of carbon dioxide and methane gas emissions in the air are causing the temperature to rise? Yes I do. But, you have to remember, that global warming is a challenging issue. What are you going to do about the energy that is required to heat and cool millions of buildings? What are you going to do about airplane pollution? Are you going to stop people from traveling by plane? What are you going to do about the methane emissions that comes from approximately 1.3 billion cows in the world that fart and burp a lot because of the digestive process in these animals? Okay, that's enough. I get your point. Please dad, allow me to speak. What are you going to do about those landfill sites, and the methane emissions, coming from rotting rice fields that have fertilizer, and, what about the emissions that comes from the production, and disposal of our clothing, which has dyes and other chemicals? Finally, what about those countries, that do little to protect the environment? 
I think people in our country are going to get angry when you continually raise taxes to pay for a more friendlier environment. Do you see how complicated it is? What do you think about obtaining the energy we need from solar panels and windmills? That is not a bad idea. However, some have indicated that they do not function well in extreme weather. Others worry about the cost, the amount of space they take up, and how are we going to dispose of solar panels after years of use. We will eventually find a way. Dad, I doubt whether you and I will live to see a drop in the average temperature on Earth. However, there is one thing that looks promising, and that is, some members of the business community are now working with scientists to combat global warming by finding ways of taking carbon dioxide from the air and turning it into rocks to be stored underground. In the meantime, while more and more scientific research is done, we could all strive for a cleaner environment by controlling and disposing our waste properly. Well, that is enough talking for one day. I have to go and get ready to attend a meeting later this afternoon. All right, Dad. Mike, you are a smart young man. The only problem is, you like to debate and argue a lot with your dad. Mom, I was not arguing with him. All I was saying is not to ban all sorts of things and raise people's taxes, because I believe that in a few years' time, researchers will find safer and better ways to dispose of plastic waste. Well, this is Jagdish R. Singh saying thanks for watching. Goodbye.